We've got our Wright Farm 3600 incubator here. And we are going to incubate some duck eggs. Day one for the duck eggs. First, we gotta prepare the incubator. Currently at 75 degrees, 94% humidity, egg turner every two hours, and the day counter starts at zero, and I think we're going to 28 days. But first, we gotta get this temperature up to 100 degrees. We are here to start incubating eggs. We have got nine duck eggs that we have collected over the past week. Uh, they range from one to seven days old. We don't want to let them get any older than seven days old. So they start dropping in their hatch rate at that point. We've got our Wright Farm 3600 incubator here. It's been running for a day. It's at 100 degrees. It's at 70% humidity. This is the egg turner. Turns every two hours. And that's our day counter that will go from zero to 28 for these duck eggs. Now I did need to reset this last night. It was not working correctly. And I believe I pushed the plus and minus buttons because the time was, or the uh, temperature was not setting correct. So let me check if that was what I did. Okay, so if you ever have issues with the temp, and the humidity not setting correctly because it defaults to 100 degrees and 60% humidity it shoots for uh, or that the alarm will let you know if it gets off of uh, it goes below uh, you hit the plus and minus until it beeps and then it resets so it's gonna stay at 100 so I don't have to worry about it dropping below it's going it's just gonna stay right at 100 since it goes back to its default but the egg turner you can tell went back to its original setting of two hours. So now we're gonna open it up and put these eggs in there. All right, so down in the bottom, there are trays for water. And then there is a hatching tray down below that where the eggs will set once it's time to hatch. And then for now, we've got the egg turner that automatically turns every two hours. So now I'm gonna spread these out throughout the incubator. Let's put you right there. So we've got them spread around the incubator and they will continue to turn every day for the 25 days until we lay them down for hatching. So now the only thing we need to check each day, we need to fill the water every couple days and then starting, I've read on day 10, somewhere between day seven and day 10, we need to cool them down either by spraying or just taking them out to cool them down. This is only for duck eggs, not for chicken eggs. Chicken eggs, once they're in, they're in until it's time to hatch. Uh, but for duck eggs, once a day, I believe you need to cool them off, spray them with some warm water, and get them back just to a cool temperature once a day. And that goes from day 10 to 25, and then they start the hatching process. For now, day one, they're all set. All right, so we are now on day 10. And I've read that between days 10 and 25 on duck eggs, you need to cool the eggs down once a day. You can do that by setting them out till they get to room temperature. You can actually spray them with, this is just some water, some warm water in here. And then we've got a little temperature gun. And it says to either get them to room temperature or some things say to get them to 86 degrees. So I've tried it with one egg, and we'll do it with the rest of eggs now, and then this is what we'll do each day from day 10 to 25. Can't see it too well there, it says 97. So basically it's the, the temperature of the incubator, between 97 to 100 degrees, so I've gotta cool it down. each egg and then as soon as I get them cooled down I'll check the temperature again and then I'll put them back in.
Okay, now we've sprayed all the eggs. Let's check the temperature. Let's head down to 89. I need a few more degrees. Okay, so they're at about 89, 90 degrees. I need them to get down a few degrees cooler, so I'm gonna leave them out for a few minutes, and then I'll check them and put them back in. Temperature is typically around 100. The humidity, I usually try to keep it around 60%, but when it drops down to about 40, I put in some more water down into the bottom of the incubator. That is the one egg I've already cooled off, so it's back in heating up. And these guys will go back in in a few minutes. We are on day 23 of our duck incubation. And I just took them out again. Been taking them out every day. And spraying them down, cooling them off to room temperature. And we are going to do some candling tonight. You could do it anywhere after day 7, I believe. And you can start seeing some activity in there. But I uh, just haven't had time to do that. So we're going to do it right now. So we're going to turn off the lights. We have got handy dandy flashlight to candle them with and let's see if we got some activity in there. So I will hold it up. I'm going to turn the light off and then we're going to light this up. Ooh, there's good. So on this one you can see, oh yeah, there's movement on there. So you can see half the egg is dark, bottom half is light, and I believe I see some movement in the top half there. That one's looking good. Another one with a lot of growth. I don't know if that movement is a heartbeat or if, I think it's a heartbeat. That one another half and half. And you can see some movement. More good vein action, and I think I see some movement in there as well. So that, so far, four for four on those. Oh yeah, good growth going on here. A lot of good development going on here. Look at that movement. And that's our this one was possibly a chicken egg. We were interested in if it was gonna be a chicken or a duck. Shaped like a duck egg, but colored like our chicken eggs. And there is nothing going on in this one. We can take that one out. Some more good growth going on in there. Man, all our duck eggs look good. I think that one's looking good too. Oh, there's a bad one. And that one's hollow all the way through, so that one's bad. So out of our, I think there were 11. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine good ones, two bad ones that we can take out. So we have got five, six, seven days to go on some of these. A couple of them we put in a day or two late. It's so up to day 25, you take them out and uh, get them hydrated with the water and cool them off to room temperature. So, nine good eggs, five to seven days to go. It is day 25, and we are, this is the day that we were supposed to take the egg turner out and lay them down for hatching for day 28, and we have got almost all the eggs are already starting to pip where the ducklings are starting to crack through the shell. And so here I was all worried about getting them out, cooling them off, and so literally seven out of the nine eggs are already pipping. The other two we added a day or two late. It's time to take the egg turner out. Okay, so we got the Egg turner part unplugged. And got that part out. We no longer need to spray them with water. And I was gonna add something that I either learned just from reading or kind of finally hit me was that the water, the purpose of it was to give moisture to the eggs where I initially, I may have said the water was to help cool down the eggs. It's actually to help add moisture 
and then leaving them out to get to room temperature was the other part of the step that you do each day with the duck eggs. And at day 25, you typically stop doing that all together. So of course we're gonna stop doing that, but then the second step is that we're now taking out the egg turner and we're just gonna lay them flat on this surface in here so they can start the hatch. Do you know what's inside of them? Chicken. What's inside of them? No. Duck. Duck, yes. Ducklings. Yeah. And yeah. these last two, are they still a couple days away? So I'm going to go ahead and cool down the last two because I'm not sure how far behind they are. Mm -hmm. See them moving around in there. That's like a beak right there. Eggs are in the hatching tray, ready to go. Next update will be some ducks. We got one, two, three, four, and five way back there. With four eggs left. Look at that one. It'll be out in the next hour. Right there, buddy. Oh, he's looking great. Hey, buddy. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ducks hatched and we've got two to go. The one down there on the bottom is almost out. And that one's a day, I put it in a day or two after the other, so it's just a little bit behind. But some of those guys have been in there for over a day now. They're ready to go into a brooder. They need to start eating and drinking. They'll live for a good day or two without food or water from the nutrients from the egg. So we do have a couple brooders here, but we've got chickens in them. So we cleared out a clear plastic tub. I'm gonna put some wood chips in there and get this ready for the ducks. And along with the wood chips, we need some water and we need some food. The only difference with ducks versus chickens is that the ducks are gonna play in the water. So they're gonna make this really muddy. I've seen some people use trays, which I might be able to find something to kind of catch the overflow of the water so they don't get the rest of the wood chips all wet. And I'll at least take in a water and I'll take in some food and then I, I think if I can figure out a tray with like some Tupperware to catch all the excess water and then we'll get the ducks in there. So as far as food, we have some starter feed that we use for our chickens that we've been using for these new guys here. I like to use it, I say zero to 10 weeks. I typically use this for about four to six weeks, the chick starter. All right, we've got our gear, let's head inside. All right, we are now in the house and we are ready to move the ducks over. Here's our brooder set up. We've got our heat plate set up and that's starting to warm up. It was just warm, but I unplugged it to bring it inside. But I can see that's on, got that plugged in. Got our water, I would like to find a bigger tray. I just didn't wanna use something that Becky doesn't want me to use, so I'm gonna use a cheap little disposable lid just to catch a little bit of carry over there. Hopefully we can find something that comes out a little further. I do have it up on wood, and then I even have the feed up a little bit higher. Just trying to keep from too much spilling or wood chips getting in either of those. I think wood chips will probably still get up in this water, but it'll work for now. So, 
time to get these ducks, at least the six that were born yesterday and the day before. Let's get them moved over. So duckling number one here, looking awesome. If I didn't say before, these should all be Pekin ducks. We do have some Muscovies, but they are not laying eggs. I believe all our egg laying is coming from the Pekin female. So as long as the Pekin male was the only one mating with her, I think these will all be Pekins. So we'll go ahead and introduce this duck to the water. He's loving that. Show him where the food's at. And you are free, buddy. Check out the world. Is that soft? So we've got the first six ducklings moved over to the brooder. There's one more in here that just hatched a little bit ago. Don't know if you can see them way back in there. And then we've got one working its way out and one more that's probably a day away. So another day or two in there for the three of them just as they get through the stages of hatching and then drying off and then we move them into the brooder. And of course under this heat plate, I'll put a link to this in the description, it's a Brinzy Eco Glow 20, suitable for 20 ducklings or chicks, and it puts out very low wattage compared to a 250 watt light bulb to keep them warm. 